As you know, any type of ion chamber, that includes the thing that is commonly referred to as a Geiger counter, works by separating charges. So, ionizing radiation will strike the fill gas of the detector and then ionize atoms, that is, remove electrons from these atoms. So you will have free charges, that is, the electrons, the negatively charged electrons, and remaining positively charged ionized atom, that is, ions. Ions is, ion is just a name for uh, an ionized atom, basically, a charged atom. So, and then a high voltage is applied, and you pull apart these char charges towards anode or cathode, respectively. On a detector that operates at a Geiger-Müller operating voltage, the charges, that is the electrons, will cause an electron avalanche near the anode, so a large discharge in a large area of many, many electrons, which will create one single large impulse. And if you have a see-through window, such as in this detector, that may give you very cool visual effects. So, let's take a look. This is a Soviet SI-8B pancake detector versus a large strontium-90 control or check source. And as you can see, you can even make out the direction of the incoming radiation by seeing the glowing anode, or the glow around the anode, more like. Let's do that again in darkness. Here comes the check source. Let's get close one more time, just because it was so cool. But this time, let's adjust brightness, contrast, and speed. Now you can nicely make out the electron avalanche near the anode, which is the center wire, obviously. Well, hope you liked this little demonstration. Thanks for watching.